yesterday's price should not be today's price. Now, I know that that's a saying that we heard uh, DJ Khaled say one day on Instagram, but it's true because as you know, right now we are here in the beginning of a brand new year, 2024, and the price of everything basically has increased. Now, just because the price has increased doesn't necessarily mean it's time for you to raise your prices, but there is a possibility that it is time to raise your price. And so today we are gonna talk about how and when to raise your prices so that you are able to continue to grow and make money in your business. Welcome back to another episode of the Kenya Kelly podcast. It is the new year. So happy new year to you. If you are watching this on YouTube, you see my spirit fingers. Happy new year to you. If you are listening to the podcast, happy new year. I am so glad that you are with me for a, another year as we are on this journey together of being entrepreneurs, building our businesses and all the things. So as you know, today we are talking about knowing when and how to raise your prices. Okay. Now let me first start off by saying that I don't know what it's like in all countries. I literally just know what it's like here in the U S because obviously this is where I live. And so my perspective is going to be about what is happening in the U S economy and things of that nature. So here we are in 2022 and the price of everything has skyrocketed. So I recently started eating pumpkin seeds because they're very good for you. And when I was online, like, you know, going to make an Instacart order or just ordering like a bulk amount from Amazon, I was shocked at how much a bag of pumpkin seeds cost. And I was just like, were pumpkin seeds always this price, you know? And then I was at CVS getting some medicine and you know, those two lot, $2 bags of chips, they're like puffy uh, cheese puffs. And then like the, the fire cheese fries or whatever, they've always been like $2. The bags say $2 on them. And I saw where the bags no longer say $2. They, the pricing is just on the, like the, the shelf and it said two sixty nine, dollars And I said, interesting, it went up by 70 cents. I was like, okay, all right. And then just as I've been just purchasing different things, just seeing how much everything costs a lot more than what it used to. And so that's because of inflation and all the different things that happen. And so when we have this conversation about raising prices, one of the things that we have to look at is, you know, before we think about our customer, we have to think about our business. Okay. We have to think about our business because, you know, one of the things that I know is that wherever I live, here is my salary. Here's the amount of money that my company pays me on a regular basis. If my rent has increased, you know, my personal expenses, if all everything of mine has increased, I've got to do a salary increase of myself or it's going to hurt me because at my whole life expenses have gone up, but my income hasn't gone up. And so when you look at then your employees, if they are in a space where everything is increasing for them, then what they have to think about is how can I make more money to accommodate these new expenses that I have. Okay. Then when you look at your business expenses, you know, every single software that I had used right now had a price increase every single software. That means my business expenses didn't go up a little bit. They went up a lot because every single thing that I have that I pay a monthly or yearly fee, increased. Okay. And so this is just me sharing with you my experience. So when you are thinking about your business this year, the number one thing you have to go was, is, is, or do we need to increase our, you know, our prices, you know, are we paying people and whatever, right? So you have to take that into account. Now, what I will say is my answer to you is, is probably, more than likely you need to increase your prices this year because everything has gone up and you've got to be able to take care of you, your company, people on your team, all the things. Okay. Um, so how do you like choose your new prices? Well, you don't necessarily choose your prices based upon what other people are doing. Okay. 
What you do need to do is, you know, what I would do. And I, listen, I'm not a finance person, but this is kind of what I'm doing. First thing I do is I calculate how much money am I spending per year before everything up? How much was I spending? Okay. Then I go, okay, how much am I potentially going to spend this coming year based upon the price increases that I have received from all my other softwares? And then I go, okay, what is the difference? All right. What is the difference? And when I find out what the difference is, then I know I have got to increase my, my prices. I've also got to think about my team. Are they expecting or needing to get some type of price increase or rate increase? Right? Because, you know, as much as we would love it, people are like, I'm going to stay with you forever. Da, 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 da. Listen, if we're not paying people enough money to live and all their expenses went up and there's another job that can pay them that then there's a challenge that we have here. You know what I mean? So they're not going to stay there because they need to be able to cover themselves. So we have to take a look at it and go, okay, let me build up my team in here, giving them a price increase, giving them a rate increase. I'm just saying just something to think about. Okay. And so then you go, okay, what's the difference between here's what my company was paying out before here's what my company is to pay out now. And then you can increase your prices based upon that. Now, if you want to go more than that, sure, you can do that. You know, a mentor that I have is she is like, you know, sometimes just start with a 1% increase because when you do a 1% increase, it may not seem like a lot, but it is a lot. So let me do some calculations. So I'm just going to do this live. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're obviously seeing me type on my computer. If you're listening on the podcast, you can't quite see me typing or whatever, or looking away, but I'm going to do, you know, or whatever. So currently for a consulting session with me is $500 because we do things before the call, during the call, after the call and all that $500, right? In 2024, if we increase it by 1%, that is $5, okay? So that would be $505 that I will get paid per session, right? Now, let's just say that in 2023 that I had, I'm just gonna give you a random. Let's just say I had 500 client sessions. Then that is $250,000 that I made, okay? Now, I wanna do that times 1%, that is $2,500. So if we look at that and we go, huh, a 1% increase, it's only $5 per session, but it's an increase of $2,500. Okay. So I have one of my courses and one of my courses is uh 1497. Okay. So we have this course is 1497 and let's just say we serve 250 people per year in that course. That's $374,250. If we increase that by 1%, then it goes up to, uh, the 1% difference is $3,742.50. Okay. That's a lot of money. Okay. So right now we're sitting at a, a difference of $6,242.50. If I increase my consulting by 1% and then one of my courses by 1%. All right. So let's just kind of write that number down just so we can, just so we can see it. Okay. So we got 62, 42, 50. So then I have another course that is 997. And then let's just say we're going to serve, um, 150 people with that course this year. So 150 people is $149,550. If I do that by 1%, then that's going to increase by $1,495.50. If I add that to the total I already have, which is 62, 42, 50, 62, 42, 50, then that is an increase of $7,738. Okay. Then I have my three day challenge that I have is normally like, was it $27? I think it's $27. So $27, uh, I would normally serve about 500 people. So that is $13,500. If we increase that by 1%, then that is $135, right? So we're right around $7,900. Okay. Now the whole point in saying that is that if we look at the, um, if we look at the, um, the percentage, it's not that big, but we're almost at around uh, $8,000 in increase in revenue into the business 
just by doing a 1%, okay? So let's just say that if I had somebody on my team, let's just say they're making $10 an hour. I'm just giving like a random example, okay? And then they're working 35 hours a week, okay? That's 350 per month, uh, uh, per week, uh, which is $1,400 per month, right? Um, and then let's say times 12 months, that is $16,800. And then let's say that I give them a 1% increase, okay? Times 1%, then that is $168 increase, okay? Um, so 168 divided by 12 is just a $14 a week increase. But if you're there in a different country, then that's actually a little bit more than may, as far as it would go here in this country. Maybe not significantly, but it's still, right? And so, but that's an additional $168 that the company has got to account for in order to be able to give that to the member of the team, right? So let's just say we got $14 per week, right? So let's do that. Let's see, $14 per week divided by five days. Um, that's $2.28 more per day. Um, let me see. What is that? I don't know how to, how to do math of that. Um, I can't tell. Let me see. What's 10, 10 times. Hold on. 10 times 1%. That's one, right? One. Okay. Uh, 0.1. One plus point one. Okay. <laughs> My math is like shot. All right. So $10 an hour times 1%. Okay. 10 times hold on. <laughs> I'm struggling. Plus 1% is okay. So a person that's making $10 an hour will now make a $10 and 10 cents per hour. So then if that person is making that times 35 hours a week, then they're making $353 versus the 350 times four, which is now a $1,414 per month. So it's not a huge increase, but if you have lots of people on your team or you have like multiple people on your team or you're just a small company, all of that you have got to account for. So what am I saying? There is a high chance that in 2024 right now that you need to make a price increase. Now I'm not saying just to increase it because everybody is, but if you know everything, all your expenses have increased, your salary is increasing, your personal expenses, your business expenses is, is, is increasing. It's not just about going and making more money, right? Yes. You want to go and make more money, but you've also got to look at and go, okay, is it time for us to, um, increase our prices or is it, in, is it time for us to create another product that maybe if we automate it, it's a digital product and that money that you're making accounts for the increase that you paid in your business. It's up to you. However, it is you want to do it. Doesn't mean you have to increase prices. Doesn't mean you have to create a new product, but you do need to take a look at your finances to determine what it is that you need to do. Now, what are we doing at our company? We are doing a price increase because in order for me to keep my amazing team members, I've got to get them a raise. Okay. In order for me to be able to, uh, you know, accommodate California prices, San Diego prices at my personal expenses, I have to give myself a raise in order for me to cover like Kartra and Thinkific and Munch and Opus and all the different softwares that we use, plus PayPal increased their percentages and Stripe incre increased their percentages. In order for me to be able to handle all that, the price has got to go up. Otherwise, we are making a lot less and we're looking around like, well, what happened? Well, what happened? Well, what happened was the prices went up and ours did not go up, okay? So now if you have questions about this, I want to know. I want to be able to support you in the best way that I can. I can show you what I'm doing, how I'm calculating and all the things. But I want you to reach out to us here on YouTube. If you're listening to the podcast, come to Kenya Kelly on YouTube and I want you to come and ask questions. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. We are like... 50 subscribers away from hitting 5,000 subscribers on our channel. And so thank you so much for listening and watching.